magic surprise party is nearly upon us. Party is prepped and everyone did their part and I'm not even stressing about it. <laughs> that Parker guy is chatty, but he worked fast and made the time fly. That is good to hear. Oh, it's nearly time. Head to the party, wait with the others. I'll bring magic, you yell surprise when we walk in and then the party is on. I will head there now. Surprise! What fresh hell is this? <laughs> it's a surprise party! Happy birthday! <sighs> Wonderful. What a delightful distraction. Though I find my work at the forge invigorating, the occasional entertainment prevents burning out. It is good to take a break when you can. Oh, I meant literal burning from the inside out. One of the hazards of manipulating Hellfire. This all came together nicely. Are you surprised? Somewhat. Nico's plans get ahead of her, at times. But this is... it's quite pleasant. From everything I'd heard about the Abbey, I hadn't expected it to be so festive. What did you hear? Just the basics from Tony and Carol. They made it sound like a wayward home for troubled youths. Do you believe that? So far, I see heroes throwing a birthday party for one of their teammates. It's what the Avengers used to do before we got so busy. Treasure these moments. They'll keep you going when times are tough. Hmm. I prefer smaller parties. My last birthday had 2,000 guests. How do you know thousands of people? I wouldn't say I know them. Most of them are business flunkies, glad handers, general hangers on. Half the night I'm shaking hands and managing expectations. I spend so much time as Mr. Stark, I'm lucky if I get to be Tony. Two thousand guests? What do you do with all the presents? No presents. I don't even know how to shop for me. Been a while since we've been able to let loose. The Avengers, you mean? Yeah. We've been busy. We see far too much of each other. And yet, nowhere near enough. I can't stop thinking about Bruce. I want to hate him for what he did, but I keep wondering if this was our fault. He always gets into trouble when he's alone. Did we blow him off? Did he reach out, but we missed it? I don't know. Yes, that might be what happened. Do not let it happen with the others. Yeah, I'm not always the best with interpersonal stuff. Doesn't mean I can't get better at it. <sighs> Enough of my moping. I'm going to enjoy this party. I suggest you do the same. We're go for cake, right? Soon. And save some for the rest of us. No promises. I haven't been to a surprise party in years. This is great. I wish the other heroes did stuff like this. Celebrate birthdays? Yeah. I guess it's difficult when you don't know each other's real names, or actual birthdays, which would completely invalidate our secret identities. But why are we talking about this when there's cake to cut? You know what they call this? The calm before the storm. What makes you say that? Just a feeling. This party was a great idea. Maybe it'll cheer up the Avengers. You think so? It's a party, right? I hope it helps him feel at home. It's too much. What is wrong? Everything. Did you get her anything? Just me, or is Magic not having a good time? I heard Magic does not like surprises. No, that can't be it. We're friends. I'd know if that was true, right? I don't get it. Everyone loves surprise birthday parties. I should know. I missed out on a few when I was on the run. Why are you so concerned? Wanda is gone. Bruce Banner is fighting for the other team, and the world's going to actual hell if we don't stop it. A birthday party is a good way to lift everyone's spirits. I'm sure we can fix this. You mind letting her know it's time to cut the cake? Sure. Okay. I'll be right there.
What? Are you all right? I have endured enough of this. This has gone on long enough. You made me the center of attention I do not need at a party I did not want. So what do you want now? To cut the cake? Magic, wait. Fine. I will cut the cake. Happy birthday? Liliana's my friend. How could I have missed this? You should not blame yourself. Then why not? If I paid attention to what she wanted, I wouldn't have driven her away. I want to fix this, but I, I can't follow her to Limbo. Although... Maybe you could? Tell me what I need to do. The Staff of One can bring you close to her. When you find her, could you talk to her? Make sure she's all right? That's all I care about. What is the best way to approach magic? I feel like I'm the last person you should ask. I'm sure the others have some advice. Is this a one-way trip? It shouldn't be. Once you find magic, she can open a portal to send you back. Hopefully, both of you. How different will this be from our usual trips through Limbo? I know as much as you do. The landscapes might be trippier than usual. I need a moment. I want to see what the others have to say. Can't hurt to ask. Tell me when you're ready and I'll send you to Limbo. So, uh, cool party? Was it me? Did I mess up? I messed up, didn't I? You did nothing wrong. Really? Really. Good, good. Well, I don't know her at all, but she seems really cool. And it's still a party until I hear otherwise. If you think it'll help, tell her I'll stick around. Wish I'd picked up on Magic's mood before she unloaded on Nico. Sometimes I can tell when she's getting upset. Talk her down, you know? Do you have any advice? Just be there for her. That goes a long way with magic. That went exactly the way I expected. I need to speak with magic. Any advice? Woman's not hard to figure out if you pay attention. She does not say much. Makes it easier to listen. I'm guessing this is out of character for magic? Yes. I think so. Hmm. Well... Good luck bringing her back. Any advice? A friend of mine gets overwhelmed like that. Tough love doesn't work. Neither does unwanted advice. Basically, don't do what I always do. That'll just make it worse. Poor kid. Is there anything I can do to help? I could use some advice. My gut says this isn't a clash of personalities. Magic's fighting her own demons. Nico happened to catch some friendly fire. Thanks. I will keep that in mind. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Hunter. To Limbo, then. I caution you. This shall not resemble the leisurely jaunts you take from the Wild Cliffs. Any pointers? If you find yourself upon a path, do not stray from it. Especially if someone or something encourages you to do so. And, uh, bring some hand sanitizer. Few realize our reality is the least, let's say, sticky. Are you really going to chase the birthday girl through a hellish dimension she completely controls? I cannot do nothing. If there is a chance, I will bring her back. Oh, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm documenting the weirdest birthday party I've ever attended. Hey, if you take too long, I call dibs on your cake. If we can scavenge some off the ceiling. I was afraid this would happen. I will bring her back. I know. When you find her, make sure she knows the Abbey will always be a home to her. So is this a normal thing with her? Thanks for doing this. 
Any questions, or are you ready to go? All right. Send me after magic. Okay. Here goes nothing. When blood is shed, let the staff of one emerge. Thanks for doing this. Any questions, or are you ready to go? I need a moment. I want to see what the others have to say. Find me when you're ready. Who are you? You made a wish, and I'm in the business of granting wishes. Tell me, why does your heart ache? They forgot. Today is my... my... Oh, sweetly. Your birthday. What an awful way to learn what your family truly thinks of you. They don't love me. Nobody does. I can bring you to a magical kingdom. Make you its queen, loved by all in its domain. But you have to wish it so. I could never be as special as a queen. Now, now. That's a lie your family would tell you. I ought to know you're a very special girl. Before we go, I have a question. Of course. Ask me anything, my queen. Are... are you a monster? Oh, child. I'm so much more than that. I'm a friend. The only one you'll ever need. this place. Hunter, what are you doing here? It is not possible to enter Limbo without my knowing. How did you get here? Nico used the Staff of One. Of course. And why did she not come herself? I just wanted to make sure you were okay. You did not need to do this. But I am glad to see you here. Wait. If you found your way to this place... What did you hear? I will never share what I heard with anyone. That is a kindness. You must understand... It is my deepest shame. The creature you heard brought me here, but my childish needs cursed me to this terrible place. I lost my childhood to one bad choice. I trusted a silver tongue instead of my own family. I want to know who did this to you. I did this to myself. The creature held no power over me. Until I allowed it. This day is an anniversary of my weakness. Nothing more. Who you were does not matter. It is who you become that counts. I would dismiss such words from anyone else. But you, of all people, would know this to be true. <sighs> I should stay here this evening. I can endure the stares and whispers. But not tonight. We could hang out here if you want. I... I would like that. Do you like the music? 
I do. Hmm. Good. Why do you ask? This was the only music I had for so long. I found it in Limbo. Trash, discarded by the universe. This is a diamond in the rough. Maybe. But to someone, it was trash. Even now, I only listen at meaningful times. When I wish to remember the moment. There are more of those now. But not enough to outweigh the days I want to forget. Hunter, can we stay here for a time? Listen to the music? Of course. <laughs> Good. Hunter, you have excellent taste. Could you tell me about the creature you mentioned? Something I hope you never have the misfortune to meet. I can't say no more. Why not? It hears when you speak its name. I refuse to give it this satisfaction. What happened to it? An eviction of sorts. A permanent one? That is my hope. Why does this look like your room in the Abbey? It doesn't. My room in the Abbey looks like this one. For years, this was the only place in Limbo where I was safe. Where I felt at home. The creature said many strange things about you. How much was true? None. All were lies to manipulate a stupid child. The creature brought me here to rule this place, but not as I do now. It desired a servant. Loyal, unthinking. A stupid child who believed its lies. I took great pleasure in disappointing it. I should get going. I will open a portal for you. Good night, Magic. See you, Hunter. Going to like you, Hunter. You were gone for so long. Did you find magic? I did. She is going to spend the night in limbo. Is she doing all right? Is she mad at me? Once she is back, the two of you should talk. Of course, you're right. I'm... I'm just glad she's doing better. I can't thank you enough for doing this. Don't know how this would have ended without you. Good night, Hunter. Good night, Nico. Oh, hey, Hunter. Good girl, Charlie. Sorry, dear. Hope I didn't startle you. Hunter, hello. What are we doing here, Magic? We're unwinding. Together. Really? I was not aware that I was wound. I did not say you. This is a place I like to take all my... Colleagues. Thank you, Magic. I value our collegial relationship as well. You are welcome. 
Now stop talking, Hunter. Relax. Okay. I will try. I said shut up already. You're ruining the warm vibes. Sorry. Hunter, you saw her, didn't you? Wanda. What does she want? What we all want. To be found. But Sarah does not want to find her. I will always love Sarah. Even her stubbornness, even her rigidity, even when she's wrong. And she is wrong this time. She still blames Wanda for my death. How do I convince her Wanda is still out there? You can't. Sarah won't believe it until she sees Wanda with her own eyes. I know you didn't know Wanda, but I did. She's family, Hunter. We cannot leave her behind. Besides, we can't win this battle against your mother without her. So find her, Hunter. Bring her back. For all our sakes. What are you doing here, Hunter? Hydra forces have taken the Sanctum, Tower, and most of the best retail outlets in Manhattan. They keep making moves. About time we did the same. Our intel points to Lilith being in the Sanctum. That's where we need to strike. Been there, done that. Wasn't our finest hour. That symbiote shell has withstood everything we've thrown at it. Lilith chose Venom for good reason. Don't forget about Bruce. Never. Look, the Avengers were formed for good reason. And I'm assuming the Suns were too. I haven't seen a threat yet this group can't overcome. So we can put our heads together, find a way to do the impossible. Or we could just wait for Hydra to come knocking on our doors. I don't know about you, but I don't like playing defense. So I say to hell with Lilith and her pet symbiote monster. Let's take the Sanctum back. Ah, I've missed these little talks. Yeah, okay. I'm slightly convinced. Guess it couldn't hurt to talk with Professor Von Spooky, see if we can't come up with something together. Now that is the definition of impossible. Let us know if you come up with any ideas. In the meantime, I for one would enjoy getting a little payback on Hydra. Hello? It's good to have you- Everything all right, caretaker? That's what I wanted to ask you. You seem distracted lately, not quite yourself. I feel like something must be going on with you, and I wish you'd tell me what. You are right. Something has been distracting me. What is it, Hunter? I hope you know you can tell me anything. The Scarlet Witch. She reached out to me in my dreams. What? Are, are you sure it was her? Yes. I appreciate you trusting me enough to tell me. Wanda was... is... powerful. Go find Nico and the rest of the Sons and tell them to come speak to me. Immediately. If Wanda is alive and reaching out to you, she might be under Lilith's control. They should be warned. You need to find the Midnight Suns. Have you seen any of the Midnight Suns? I need to speak to them. I think I overheard Blade talking about how he was going to the chapel, which is... weird. I didn't think vampires could go into churches or chapels or whatever. See what I know about the supernatural. Hope he doesn't think Carol is gonna meet him there. Thank you, Peter. No problemo. Hope you find them. Eh, 
And you need to do it now. What kind of mirror is this again? Because it's giving me some real evil queen vibes. I told you, it's a family heirloom. Then it's definitely evil. I'm not setting foot in that thing. I don't trust it. Stop being such a baby, Blade. You are evil. The mirror is evil. What's the problem? <sighs> God damn it, Magic. I am not evil. Whatever, vampire. Listen, Blade, I don't like this either, but we don't have any other options. If we want to save Wanda, we need to go through this mirror and we need to do it now.